everyone, it's Tanya Gibbs and today I want to share with you a doodle art card tutorial for Yvonne Blair Art Girls Project. This is the card that we are going to create today and is super simple and a fun way to dress up some of your flat cards that you intend to mail. These are the stamps that I am going to use today from Yvonne Blair Designs and Impression Obsession. These are the Words of Art and Everyday Holds stamps. Of course, I will link up a blog post down below that has them if you can't find them at your local retailers. So to begin, I'm using a Spellbinders die to draw out a circle. You can use any circular shape that you wish. I'm just using a, a pencil. I'm drawing it a little dark here for video, but um, you would want to draw a, a little bit lighter for yourself. Uh, I'm using the words of art, and this says uh, imagine the possibilities. I want this to be a double stacked uh, sentiment in this particular instance so I'm going to stamp it twice the first time I'm going to mask it with a piece of post-it note and then I'm gonna uh, stamp it again with uh, masking the other side so uh, just cover it up with a piece of post-it note tape it to the block if you need to to keep it in place um, and then stamp it with Versa ink and then I'm going to put gold embossing powder down and uh, just flick off the excess powder. If any of the residue gets onto your card, then just wipe it off with a uh, paintbrush before you heat set it. And then I'm going to repeat this, stamp, this uh, process, but this time I'm going to cover the other side of the stamp. And you want to make sure you don't have any of that residue or that uh, glycerin that is on uh, from the Versa ink on the opposite side so you can wipe it down with the baby wipe to get it good and clean before you put your impression down. If you should happen to uh, get it just a little bit messy then just take a paintbrush and uh, wipe away any of the embossing powder that's on there and then once it's heat set you can take a, a gum eraser and just erase away the glycerin that's left behind as a residue and you'll never know it was there like I've done here. So once my sentiment has been stamped in place and I don't care if it's a little slight off center because I can work that in uh, with my um, drawing so I can fill in that gap using some of my drawing. There really is no rhyme or reason to this doodling. It is super simple doodling and anyone can do this. It's simple shapes. I'm simply drawing a heart shape uh, in the center and then I'm just doing some little loops around there to fill it in. So the heart shape that's on the line there, I am just filling that in to completely cover it in. And then I'm just gonna go back and add some weight to some of those outer edges. And uh, hopefully as I move around here, my pen will move out of the way and you can see uh, those spirals um, as I move my pen around the, the, the um, circle a little bit. You'll have a little bit better idea of what I'm trying to do here. So um, all I'm doing is as I work my way around the circle, I'm just drawing little heart shapes using the circle as my guide um, as I work myself around. And I'm just drawing lines and putting little dots on there. It's simple doodling, completely simple doodling. Don't make it complicated. Don't overthink it. Just do a loop and attach it to the circle. Um, draw a line and put a dot. Draw a circle. Um, and just put a dot. Keeping, Try and keep scales the same. So as you can see as I come around to the back side of this uh, little loop, I'm just simple shapes. Keep them small, keep, them, keep the scale roughly the same for each size of the loop and all of a sudden by repeating those patterns you get exactly the same look and it's just kind of fun you know you just get a really neat look now what I like about this is I could totally just stop right here and that is a really cute looking card right by itself I don't really even have to go any further it's just really cool but if you want to keep going around the circle go ahead and again, I could just erase the, the, the pencil marks and stop here, but I just can't. So to draw a uh, rosebud, all I'm doing is a spiral shape. Just draw a little circle spiral and fill in the bottom uh, in a semicircle. 
Uh, if you want to, I, I really believe that it gets more interest when you add weight to things. So like I'm just drawing out a little um, loop to do uh, those uh, little spirals there and then adding a little bit of weight to the line. So I, I just always think of it this way. On the downward stroke, I add a little bit of weight. Inside of any of the little um, spirals, I add a little bit of weight. Uh, anything that has a dot where it looks like your pen would have landed um, and rested, I add a little bit of weight. And then that way you always have, um, anywhere you add a little bit of weight, your eye is going to be drawn to, and those areas always give you a little bit more uh, balance. So again, draw out a spiral and then add some loops for those look like little leaves to me. Um, if you get to the tip of it, close it off with one single leaf or a spiral. Um, one thing I would have done a little bit different was maybe add three of these uh, bigger flowers, but you know, it's doodling and that's you, no two are just alike. So um, just have some fun with it and think of it this way. Imagine the possibilities. That's why I chose this sentiment for this card. So it's just fun. Have some fun. I love that these can stay black and white. You don't have to color them. Um, just have some fun and uh, enjoy the doodling. And, and if you don't, I, I like I call these doodle wreaths so I've done some research online to look for some inspiration um, but I bought myself a really thin small notebook and I just drew a whole bunch of these little circles in the notebook and then I just started practicing when I was waiting at doctor's offices or um, you know, at waiting in meetings and things like that, I just pulled them out of my purse. I think I shared with you guys one time where I made a little journal book, a pocketbook journal book. Uh, totally draw these little circles inside of these little um, little journal books like this, and then when you're waiting for a meeting to start, pull these out and just do some doodles and just kind of practice. And you'll be surprised at how quickly they come together. If you want to, you could even put some of these little card panels inside of um, maybe a little pocket sleeve or something and while you're sitting there doodling on these these instantly become cards when you get home so there's some ideas on how to use them or what to do with them I think they're really kind of cool um, they make great little note cards to leave in your desk if it's something that you do when you're waiting for a meeting to start um, it would be neat to have these just sitting in my desk and put thank you or just a note on them. So now it's time for me to color them up. Of course the pen that I'm using here is the Sharpie pen so it's waterproof. Uh, I'm just using a watercolor pen that has water inside of it and, and when I change colors I, off to the side I have just a little paper towel to clean up my tip. But I'm just touching that tip to the watercolor pencil and then picking up pigment and I'm using a green there. I think these are Faber-Castell pencils. Some of them are. I don't know what the others are, but uh, just tapping that color down. So I'm using green for uh, the green leaves and then I'm adding red to the rosebuds and then blue for the bigger flower. And again, to for balance, I probably should have done three blue flowers and then you know, three red flowers and then filled in with the green, but you know, just having fun. It's just doodle art. So, um, imagine the possibilities, right? So anyway, it's just a lot of fun and look at how beautiful it is. And then just add a little bit of visual interest to it. Um, play around with the colors and, and just, you know, continue on in some of these bigger elements, adding a few dots here and there. Uh, I think the dots really kind of make it. And, uh, you know, I liked it black and white, but I do like it in color as well. So have some fun with it and just see where it goes. Yeah. I mean, look at that little punch of color. These would be beautiful Christmas cards. It would be beautiful tags for your presents if you wanted to cut them into tag shapes. Now, I did want to heat set this really good just to make sure the colors don't run. And then I came back with a paint pen and added a few little dots here and there because I think everything looks better when there's a few little white dots. So I'm just putting two or three little white dots. It's hard to see on the camera, but you'll see it in the photographs. But just a few little white dots in the center of the flowers uh, and then along the little dotted areas. Just so pretty. 
Um, a wink of Stella pen would be really cute on this as well. Um, maybe even a gold metallic pen or a silver metallic pen. So now it's time to build out my card. Um, I've just taken a little bit of antique linen and I'm going to run it around the edge of my card to just kind of uh, spruce it up some. It's kind of flat. And again, these are great cards for mailing out to friends. It's a great inspiration card. Uh, I love this set from Yvonne Blair because it has a lot of different sentiments in it. And this would be a great set to do for everyone um, uh, to share with a friend if you wanted to stamp a bunch of these different sentiments on a card and then doodle a bunch of these designs in there. Uh, so anyway, I'm just distressing up that edge really well. And then I'm adding it to my card panel there with some foam adhesive. The card is actually cut to... Uh, the standard A2 size with a top fold so it's um, the card backing is cut to um, I guess that's 11 inches uh, by four and a quarter so it's folded at five and five and a half and then the panel I cut down to I guess I don't have it in front of me but I think it's like four inches by five and a quarter so it's just a quarter of an inch smaller so for the inside panel I did the same thing I distressed it now I'm using the antique linen to stamp the inside sentiment which says every day holds the possibility of a miracle and then I am going to do a little doodling on the inside corner as well for this but I'm just going to uh, place it flat on the inside uh, of my card panel and it's just a light enough to where I feel like I could still write over the top of it if I want to but you can still read it and then I am going to just draw a simple little squiggly line around the inside freehand with my sharpie pen uh, I, I like the idea that it's not straight I could have made it straight with a ruler but because this is a doodled card I kind of wanted it to look doodled and then I'm just gonna do a couple of little loop loops around this and the corner and again since you saw how I did it before on the other I'm not gonna be super fancy or anything like that and then just do a couple of little rosebuds there in the corner um, in the bottom left and then in the top right and um, you know like I said nothing really super fancy just uh, keeping it simple and there you can see and then coloring those up just adding a little bit of red I like the pop of color and then keeping it you know the green in the corner where the leaves are I, I just really think it adds a little bit of whimsy there so here's my finished card it's really super easy and simple it really didn't take very long for me to do this doodling and I actually made two of these cards now and here's the finished product Thank you guys for hanging out with me today I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial uh, here's the outside of my card and then here is the inside of my card if you've enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with a friend and also don't forget to go check out that blog post and leave me some love over there on Yvonne Blair uh, website it is at yvonneblair.com and I've got a link to that down below where you can also find these awesome products uh, and then more details about the card so thanks for stopping in today